I want to see incredible sights that few people have seen. And Dalot seemed like the impossible. Dalot was a challenge. I wanted to see Dalot precisely because people said it was impossible. It's an extraordinary place, but it's one of the most difficult places to get to. Dalot is a salt dome that was raised up by volcanic forces. The rocks that came out of Dalol are hydrochemical rocks. They are hybrid mixes, not lava flows. Dalol is not a traditional volcano. Despite appearances, it's an active volcano. We know the last eruption took place somewhere over here. But to tell you where the crater is, unfortunately we don't know. It was covered over by geothermal activity that deposited all these concretions. The travertins grew up all over the place and gradually covered the crater. Each year I find different sites. We're in a high tension zone with open faults, open cracks, and each time water gets into these cracks and rises up. It takes the easiest route, and if other cracks have opened up in other places, it takes a different route, that's all. I saw a lake here one year. It took nearly two hours to walk around the lake, an acid lake, like that. Here in two or three weeks, there'll be nothing left. It'll be totally dry. Keep far away from these little acid pools, okay? Come see, it's fantastic, it's fantastic. There's nothing like it in the world. No one studies Dalol. It's impossible to spend time here. Sweat turns into acid, aggressive for the skin and the eyes. The acid-saturated air is unbreathable and attacks the nose and the mouth, all in record temperatures that can reach 58 degrees Celsius in the shade. Yeah, yes, it's, it's unique in the world. Dalal means dissolve, a name perfectly suited to this unclassifiable site. Staying here for a long time is incredibly difficult because of the gas that we breathe, the unbearable high temperatures, the atmospheric conditions, the dry air, the constantly shifting Earth. There are tectonic adjustments practically the whole time. It's an area that's constantly being created. There we can hear the water, but we can't see it. We hear the acid, but we can't see it. Uh, I, I, yes, we can. Look. Yeah, it's a fumarol. It's gas. It's very strong. Very strong. Highly acidic. This whole area is in the process of drying up. The increasingly concentrated acid can barely be seen, hidden beneath layers of crystallized salts. The air, too, is increasingly saturated with acid. As the temperatures rise, all these little ponds dry up. As long as there's water in the depths, the activity continues in Dalol. Look, Romain, that one at your feet. It's really incredible. It's really stone lace. Salt is a rock. It's a mineral. 
Dalal is the incredible result of the interaction between hydrology and volcanism. The magmum here lies at a depth of 10,000 feet, and the thermal flow is very important. Remember to keep enough space between you so you spread out the weight, because the ground is fragile. You spread out a little there. And don't forget, there's acid underneath, and it's hot. Here, it rises fast. We get to 60 or 70 degrees Celsius. Pure acid at 70 degrees Celsius. That's really aggressive. Keep away from it. just spotted a new area of activity on Dalal that has only existed for a few weeks, about 10 minutes from the main volcano. The danger is different. On a traditional volcano, with lava flows or explosive ejections, you don't control the situation anymore, but you understand the danger. Here, the problem is you don't understand the danger and you don't know where it's coming from. I love coming to see Dalal because I know every time I'll discover new sites. I'll learn something, but I always worry about bringing people here. Dalol is both heaven and hell. The Afar themselves say that Dalal is hell. The group leaves the center of Dalal to reach the eastern end of the crater. It too is a totally unexpected sight. We're still on the volcano, but there's no activity here. No fracturing, no gases, no lava projections. Dalal remains an enigma. Despite appearances, we're still at Dalal. This whole area which is unlike anything you've seen up to now, is full of canyons. It's a labyrinth of canyons heading in all directions. A whitish, impermeable cap made up of androphyte, gypsum, and clay has protected the layer of salt below from erosion. The runoff water eats away the salt, except for that which lies directly beneath these caps. The project of a national park is understudied to protect this unique setting that is already doing pretty well at defending itself alone. You approach Dalal and leave it again in the same way, on tiptoe. The group's journey to this geological paradise comes to an end. They leave this incredible corner of the world where the earth shapes itself before your very eyes.